Hello everyone, uh, today I will be making a new video on how to prepare for interview. So as we all know the NSSP result has been declared and those who have gone through, first of all I would like to give my hardest congratulations to all of you. So you are one step closer, ekta step agedeze to get a job. So good luck to all the 1400 plus students will be giving the NSSB interview so you have all given the uh, this paper 1 paper 2 and also CPT and you have cleared all the exam and now the final task is for the interview which carries 12.5 marks of the total marks that is around 50 marks as a so now this is the last step and it will all depend on how you perf how you perform in your interview so this video has been dedicated to all those all those who are preparing for interview to give you some idea of how to approach the interview some of the questions that will be asked maybe who knows but i will be, try my best to help you guys in clearing means exam clear over there i will uh, provide you some feedback and also some questions which you can note on and you can also make yourself that is it will question enough some other question may pop, pop up in your head so to it, it is all up to you but these are some of the general questions that may be asked for your nssp interview so <coughs> um, let's start with the interview questions and you can note down what what and what what questions are there and also you can make your own question also it, it is it will be uh, been, it will be beneficial for you if you can think outside the box and you can also make new questions for yourself so, but these are general questions which i'll be helping you so first um, your introduction so first uh you do table as well to the chairman dago and some board member most probably the secretary of nssb and some administrative officers as well as some uh, members that are nominated by the government so m more or less four to five mem uh, thank you, members though along with the chairman so uh, the, the question the first is the introduction so when you enter the the interview hall the first question that will be uh, you will be handing out your uh, your cv your um class 10 class 12 your documents and they'll be uh, looking through your documents and they'll ask you they'll to tell you something about your introduction so you uh you need your introduction like the paper like uh, my name is this 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 i have completed my education my maba my BTEC or my MSc or BSc etc from this college and and so tell something about your uh, your interests also that is you like to do this you like to watch cricket or you like to play football and and uh, you are interested in reading novels you are interested in reading books etc so make your interest in such a way that you are able to answer it means to to like interest to cricket question so you have to study something about cricket so maybe the examiner will ask you that who won the let like did in the kunji dj so you have to be brief and you have to know what you are telling means to keep quasi to to you don't just say blindly that you like to play cricket or you like to watch cricket if they started asking you cricket and you don't know then you're totally screwed there so still something that you are comfortable with you know uh, you know something about the subject matter so this so this is the introduction introduction though be she brief rakivi and to the point like my name is this this, this i've completed this is this and my interest is this, this this and this is my first attempt like that so the introduction is completed so and if you have something remarkable that you have achieved then you can tell that so, suppose you are work you you are working in a department or you are working in a contract 
or you're working in a somewhere so you can code this means to you can tell that I've, I've been working as a as an organizer or I've been working in, a, in an NGO or I've been working as a uh, teacher in private teacher in this this or schools or college like that so your introduction will be done one thing is what something about yourself and uh, something related to your something about yourself and the interest which you know it rocky so next is the something related to your preference of job suppose you have uh, you are entering the interview so who to interview la paper that take you that suppose your name is mr ak and you have given your first preference as lda under health and family welfare or you have given something as storekeeper under food and civil supplies or something that you have given some uh, junior account associate under the uh, treasury office so the most probable is LDA and some will keep storekeeper no, no doubt this is the most lucrative job under NSSP and some will give this junior account associate like that so uh, the examiner the interviewer will have your preference of job your preference of boss and so they'll ask you why do you want to be this or why do you want to be LDA to kick on a kuromaja why do you want to become an LDA or to be first preference to storekeeper so why do you want be why do you want to keep a why do you want to become a storekeeper even though this is a very low paying job that is level six not level seven is a uh, level five not six over but LDS level um, seven or eight like that so the pay, the job is very the pay is very less so why do you want to become an LD, LDA or why do you want, want to become a storekeeper so you have to give your valid answer don't just say that or you want to become rich don't say like this of course you don't say like that but I'm just telling you that uh, if you want to become an LDA so you can quote that you can tell that to go bariki uh, I have an interest in doing office work or I am very interested in doing computer works and uh, I want to know the functioning of the office so you can quote this and storekeeper storekeeper though uh, you can tell that you are very interested uh, for public welfare you want to look after the public like that even though this may not be your intention or not so you can always tell something positive about your preference of job so it it the it all depends on you so something about your job preferences to key key preferences LDA or storekeeper or junior account associate or insect collector also. so or copy holder or computer etc so it uh, you have to prepare an answer according to your preference so whatever preference you're giving you just uh, remember what uh, you just prepare an answer answer to prepare on her give like in case of scenario what will be the question asked so you have to be prepared so it does something about your job so suppose you're giving LDA so you tell that you're interested in office work something like that related to office work and suppose you are, you, are, you are given junior economy so you are interested in doing the treasury work that is you are interested in the uh, working of the finance of the state and suppose you are doing storekeeper so store, storekeeper you can tell that you are interested in you are interested in uh, doing public service that is public care surf cruelly your intention is this so you can tell this so something about your preference of job you can quote here so next the next question is qualification suppose you have completed your MSc MSc suppose botany 
the ex the interviewer may not have knowledge ample knowledge on the subject on your subject matter means to MSc Louis Botany Leisure so they might not be here they might not have any uh, knowledge on this matter but you have to prepare something related to your subject sub MSc Leisure for example MA Leisure MN history and suppose you have taken a uh, suppose Bachelor of Engineering in Civil like that so suppose you have taken an MA history and suppose an interviewer is, is also have some knowledge on history so he will tell some tell something about the Mughal period they might ask you because you have already studied that in your paper one so they'll ask you this or something related to the Bachelor of Engineering that is very uh, they'll not ask very technical but they'll ask you something related to building that is in Nagaland why the people are not following the building codes or botany something related to botany like if uh, since Nagaland has very rich flora and fauna why is there no research done like that so something related to your qualification to Purivi and uh, regarding your subject matter keep in uh, keep intake your uh, this qualification that is suppose you are done BA BA in sociology so they will tell you something tell something about in our society why women are not provided um, equal status with men like that so this is all the under sociology so the final uh, emphasis is qualification to read or prepare something about your subject that is you have to have knowledge something about your qualification something related to your qualification that is uh, take a brief uh, you can talk, take out your old textbook and you can go through your old textbook and you can just uh, read about something about your qualification so this is the answer so next so information relating to present Naga issues. So this is a very general topic for your interview. And present Naga issues because all the interviewers are from and will be Naga tribes. That is plain Manodo Thaigu Nathagu Dudu Najine, but majority do Naga Manodo So they will have some knowledge about the Naga present political or present issues. That is, they will tell you something to tell something about the corruption it is general topic corruption that is how you would tackle this or how Nagaland has been reeling under corruption the Naga political solution political situation that is how our underground are taxing they'll ask you on that subject matter or something related to your this present issue for example eastern nagaland there might be some eastern interviewer that is kumba uh, for example the secretary of nssp is nssp la secretary of sir buchem aze henok buchem so he belongs to form community so he also ask something about the eastern nagaland so you have to prepare you have to prepare an ample subject on ample answer on eastern nagaland that is the what if you belong to a general especially to general history that is you belong to Aose Maluta or you belong to Eastern tribe they will reverse psychology that is in if you belong to general then they'll ask you that do you believe in uh, do you believe in this Eastern Nagaland and what do you think we should give or not and if you belong to an Eastern tribe they'll ask you something that uh, if Eastern Nagaland is provided to you then how will you uh, what will be the future of Nagas like that? So, prepare like this, and tribalism will come. Something. So, person Naga situation ini, you have to prepare some points for this. So, my final consensus is, for information relating the present situation, the topics may be, uh, corruption, and Naga political situation. and this eastern nagaland tribalism and also recently concluded nagaland legislative assembly 2023 they'll ask you something about the 
dirty politics that is our how nagas are playing very dirty politics so these are the some of the issues you can also make or you can also point out some of the issues that that may come to your mind so these are the general topics question number five is situational questions put up to you situational questions put up to you is uh, suppose you are appointed as a junior account associate no, in treasure in treasure office now suppose the situation is there right and how will you tackle this and for example you are appointed as a storekeeper and so first first of all my question to junior account associate, uh, junior account associate treasury la. so suppose you are appointed as a junior account associate in treasury so the question will be put up to you suppose you want to uh, you are asked you are put you are given a bribe of rupees 10 lakhs to process a pension file pension manola pension paper do file uh, 10 lakhs to open to give question so uh, they'll give you a situation and they'll tell you that how will you approach this like that storekeeper that's why i told you like uh, you have to read something about your preference of job that is the job key preference grade to like the question and whatever job you are choosing first or second or third uh, make some questions on that situational question though suppose i've already told you about the treasury and storekeeper means for example you are a storekeeper of in Kifiri and some some underground nagas have underground nagas are coming and asking bribe to you so what will you what will you do that is what will be your uh, what will be your actions that will you complain or will you abide by them or what will you do they will ask you so kindly prepare an answer on this also so if this is done next burning issues of Nagaland uh, national and international issues so uh, this basically means brush up your current affairs current affairs to look brush up really and uh, like uh, remember to read some current affairs and um, max hey you can watch some current affairs to know this subject matter for example national issue for example it are recently uh lok sababa raja uh, lok sababa rahul gandhi to disqualified so they'll ask you something that why rahul gandhi was disqualified like that uh, your they'll test your current affairs and international means something related to russia ukraine or something related to uh, Afghanistan okay. so uh, this basically means you brush up your current affairs current affairs to look uh, go through it will not be a problem for you and the last uh, and the next one is information relating to your village clan tribe and important personalities so suppose uh, suppose you belong to uh, let's say Kohima and you belong to for example Konoma Konoma village and your and your title is suppose C for example I'm just quoting an example so something related to your village you have to know the general information about your village that is suppose Konoma should be the literacy rate came on as a literacy rate came on as a and uh, what are the tribes there I mean what are the clans there and something general information like how many blocks are there what is the distance from Kohima to your village like that and re relating your tribe that is uh, something about your Angami tribe what are the traditional uh, festivals customs etc and if interviewer the interview board there Angami Mono you can expect a question from the uh, from your tribe from your tribe especially and important personality important personality means suppose uh, for example Ezet Fizo was from Konoma so they'll ask they'll, they'll, they'll tell you so, so okay Mr. S you tell something about uh, an important personality from your village of Konoma so you can tell like my village has produced many 
important personalities so some are z fizo like that and if you belong to suppose for example you belong to changi village under ao so you are at you are you belong to changi village and they also tell you so so mr mr s and mr a you tell me something about your changi village person so they will ask like tell something about tio dr tio so something related to your village clan and important personality is a must for every interviewer and this this it covers not only for nssb but also for nps also so the last and final question is according to me is this that is what will you do if you don't get through the time through this time or any alternatives so the interview will trick you like interview come okay what is your end goal first of all and still suppose if you don't get a job or suppose if you fail this time so what will be the alternatives so my 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 suggestion to you is keep an optimistic outlook. Means interview ke nitigai ke that you are giving up. No, don't give up. Just say that. Suppose the interviewer asks, "What will you do if you don't get through this?" So you just appear optimistic. Optimistic means ke zukrito. Thank you, sir. If I don't get also, I will not be. Uh, I will not be. Sad. Or instead I'll I'll work hard and try to get next time and try to work hard next time I'll work on my mistakes like that something very optimistic and one uh, important thing in review the case you could never give like extreme never give extreme uh, statements extreme statement like do you believe that corruption is good for Nagaland or bad for Nagaland. So don't say entirely no. It is bad. We should not do it. Everyone should die. No like that. Give a mild approach. Means optimistic approach as well as suggestive approach. Suggestive and a neutral approach. Because after you give interview the interview the they jaina manon discuss Korea that the interviewer will discuss suppose you have given an interview from 1 to 1 one thirty. so after one thirty, before the next person comes they will discuss yes this guy is very good or some this guy is very extreme that is he is giving very extreme answers or he is very rash that is he doesn't know how to answer like that so my only suggestion is give suggestion and maintain neutrality and always maintain uh, uh, calm and be she extreme statement anyway no extreme statement if you start giving extreme statement then the interviewer will judge you and they will they will discuss among themselves that uh, this is person is not good or this person is very rash so but one thing is that Always maintain your honesty. Means your answer should be honesty. Do not imagine Means if you don't know, don't try to bluff the interviewer. If it is related to facts and figures, if there's a tell some, uh, what is the population of your village? And if you don't know, then you just tell sir, I don't know, or I'm not aware of the numbers. So maintain honesty. Uh, no extreme statement. Come and maintain neutrality. So these are the, some of the topics that i've covered under the uh this nssp interview that is your introduction something about your job preference your qualifications information relating to present naga situation situational question put up to you burning issues something related to your clan tribe or any important personalities what will you do if you don't get through and some of the statements which you make you wish you make in the interview so with this let's uh, end on an optimistic note and all the best for your interview and i hope this will be helpful for your interview so thank you for watching and all the best for your exam thank you all.